Hello again everyone, yes, back again, another pickups video. So, yeah, buying more crap that I pr probably shouldn't be buying. Um, so, uh, not actually, not all of it's bought. I have one thing here which was given to me, which I'll explain in a minute. But I'm very sweaty, it's very, very hot in here because I've had to turn my fan off. And I've opened the window, so you'll probably hear birds chirping and stuff in the background. You can probably also hear a very old 360 whirring in the background, which is not helping with the heat. That thing is like a radiator. But it's because I'm currently playing through uh, Captain America uh, Super Soldier. Genuinely, pretty pretty fun game, enjoying it so far. A lot of collectibles though. But I'll start with the thing first that I haven't paid for. It's something that's been in the house for a long time. Um, the girlfriend collects anything Legend of Zelda. So this thing I think is always stuck out as a bit of a sore thumb in her collection because it's not in the best condition and she asked me if I wanted it for my collection so it's basically removed from one room to the other but it's mine now. Um, <laughs> I was supposed to put this in literally a couple of videos ago and I kept forgetting about it. Uh, it is the Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker limited edition pack GameCube. Um, yeah it's got that big tear in the front of it so that is that is why I, I think she didn't like it. Everything She likes to keep everything as nice as possible and yeah I remember her picking this up years ago she got it really cheap I think um but it is just it's just a silver GameCube that's just a sleeve that goes around the top of it so but it's all in there it all works I quite often use the controller from this one um because my controllers are hidden away <laughs> so it's easier just to take them out of this box but yeah I'll find somewhere to display it I'm not a mint collector not worried about the big chunk out of it I think my dog's coming up the stairs so we may get a cameo in a second. There was no dog cameo, she ran away. All right, let's crack on with this. There was one thing I was waiting to uh, show up for this whole pickups video to happen. So I'll, I'll do that one last, but I don't have an order. I'll just pick them up off the pile, tell you where they came from. This first one was a charity pickup. Um, I picked up a lot of decent stuff from a charity shop the other day, but it's stuff that I've already got in my collection but I might be using as like box upgrades or stuff. So I'm not going to put that in. It was things like Mario Party 8 and some, some decent Wii titles, but everyone's seen that kind of stuff before. Um, but this was in the in the uh, thing. I think I paid six pounds for this. It was Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition. I already have Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition. So why did I get this? Um, basically, have you noticed there's no age rating on the front of it properly? This is an NTSC J, like Japanese copy, um, but it doesn't have the usual Japanese kind of like, I don't know, it, the discs in Japanese games are usually quite like Wii discs, and I think the manual is also in English, so it might be like one of those Asian English copies, yeah but it's like all in English, um, yeah it's just a bit a bit weird and a bit different. But yeah, the back heaven, all in English. I don't, I don't know. I don't know anything about this. I, I must find out. I'm guessing it's an Asian English release um, to have the NTSC J on it. But if not, it's just it's different. Dropping it. There's the one per video. Yeah, a bit different. No idea where I'm putting this stuff once I've picked it up. We'll make a pile on top of this GameCube. At the same time, I bought these in the charity shop. Uh, I thought I had like a lot of Lego games on the PS4. I don't, turns out I don't, I only have one. Um, so just because they were cheap, I think these were £3.50 each. I got Lego The Incredibles. Didn't mind picking this up because it's not one that I have like on the 360 or anything. And Marvel Super Heroes 2. So I'm not a big fan of these games, but I'll do them for trophies and things. Up next is, this is some stuff I got from uh, Carboot. These were five pounds each, and I thought that's not too bad for it. I think it works out at about 28 quid's worth in CEX, so. Uh, up first we have Far Cry 6. Um, I was recently talking to people about Far Cry, and I've never played Far Cry 6, so I'll have to give it a go. I've got five, which I've never played. I stopped at four, but I should go back and do them. Up next is a game that I played on the 360 and uh, got all the achievements on, so I thought I'd do the um, remaster of it. It is Burnout Paradise Remastered. So yeah, just a, a arcade 
it's an open world um driving game where you blow everything up and drive into it crash into it everyone knows what burnout is and finally from the car boot we got uh doom eternal so yeah it's the sequel to doom 2016 isn't it um I've never played this one. I did play Doom 60, 2016. I didn't finish it, so I probably should go back to it. Um, it was really fast-paced and just killing things, so it was good fun. Um, I've heard some people don't like this one. I don't know what the difference is with it. All right, next we have... Oh, we have a charity find. This is a very nice charity find, but I did have to pay £10 for it. It is uh, one I don't think I have. I'm going to have to double-check, but I don't think I have it. It's the Metal Gear Solid HD collection on the ps3 uh still has the sticker for 10 pounds on the back of it but it, that's not too bad it's like a 20 pound game in cex but it came is in absolutely lovely condition um i've always wanted to get all the classics hd games i think i have all but one and it might have been this one i don't know i'll have to double check there might be one an extra one i'm missing i might be missing the tomb raider one I don't know, can't remember. I'd have to go back through it. But yeah, I just always wanted to get the HD classics. Um, this is on the 360 as well, which I've got it on the 360. Um, but yeah, I just wanted the PS3 one. I don't collect much PS3. So if I can find something, I don't know, different like that with the HD stuff and I'm waffling. I just, just wanted it. Right, let's go for the next couple. What we've got here? We've got uh, Super Hot from CEX yeah it's a first person shooter where time only moves when you move I've played it on the Xbox one but this has VR so I've always thought it must be like great is it a VR required game this one uh, it must be the VR required one but yeah it must be good fun I imagine it's great fun in VR it's great fun without VR it just because like when you complete a level um, because you've been moving slowly, you watch the whole thing played back, so you can like catch weapons that are coming at you and hit people. It just looks great. Um, I think there might be two super hot games now. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, this was purchased off of uh, somebody on um, Discord. Uh, I don't know if they want me to say who I bought it off of, so I won't. But uh, it is X-Men Origins Wolverine. It was one I was missing from the 360 set. Uh, it's one I never picked up simply because I beat this years ago. I rented it, thousand G'd it, and then never bothered to pick it up again. Um, it's one that everyone always says is a bit of a hidden gem. I'm not a big fan of it, but I needed it for the collection. And it's starting to go up and up in price because of the new Deadpool Wolverine movie. Um, yeah, it was. It's just a. Feels like a movie licensed game with a bit more violence. Um, it's an easy thousand G though, so. That's that's an upside for it. I know I know a lot of people love it, so if if you're into that kind of Marvel stuff, you probably would really enjoy it. Okay, up next is one that has been shooting up in value for some reason. I used to see this all the time in game for really cheap, um, but then it, it sold out everywhere. It sold out on Amazon, eBay. They were going between a hundred, like sixty to hundred pounds. I was like, I don't know what's going on here, but it's a uh, scorn. It's like a horror, like, puzzler, almost, um, with a bit of shooting. That is how I think it plays. Uh, but this Dulux edition comes in, like, a steelbook. Um, yeah. I, I was just making sure it wasn't, like, agony, and I'd take that out, and there'd be a big pair of tits on it. I was worried about that then. Um, but, yeah, it's, to be honest, it's actually a really nice-looking steelbook. But, yeah, this was on CEX for... 32 pounds i think so i thought i thought i'd nab like nab it it was on game pass i don't know if it still is but people people don't really like it for some reason but it looks like my type of thing a bit puzzly a bit horror-y i'll give it a go but when whenever any kind of horror stuff starts to spike you, you kind of need to grab it another one horror -y. this was something i've been looking at for a while and i got the heads up from uh from tony Old Wizbits Random Gaming. <laughs> I think that's what the name, the full name of his channel is. I just call him Wizbit. <laughs> um, it's a really bizarre looking game. It's, I think you start off as a job looking after a theme park 
and it all just goes mad. It's uh, Jack Holmes, Master of Puppets. Um, yeah, it's like a first person shooter, but with like mini games and ooh, it literally looks insane. And it is part of like the perp set. Um, this was on Amazon, I think it was 15 quid, I think it was. I really should write down prices. I, I just try and work it out off the top of my head. But yeah, this this looks so stupid. It looks fun. It actually didn't review too horrendously. Um, but yeah, he, he knew it was one I was looking out for. Um, so yeah, get, gave me the heads up on that one. All right, next we have, this was bought in game. It was in their sale. It was eight eight or 10 pounds. Um, again, just for the horror horror set, it's Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song. Um, I've always heard good things about the uh, Vampire the Masquerade games. Like the first game was apparently a broken mess and was fixed by the community and was great. Um, or was that the second? I don't, I don't know how many there are, but uh, yeah. I, I don't know if this one plays like a full vampire RPG or not. Because there's one that's like um a bit of a spin-off, so I don't know if it's this one. I I know nothing about this, but for that price, I thought I'd grab it, put it in the horror collection. Uh another one I don't know the greatest deal about, but it doesn't pop up that often and like the PS2 games are quite pricey. This is a uh, not super pricey, but it's based on an anime. It's based on Bleach, so it's a Bleach game. It's Bleach Soul Resurrection on the PS3. It's weird. That's two PS3 games in this video. Doesn't often happen. Um, yeah, I think it is just like a. I don't think it's a one-on-one -on -one fighter. I think it's more of a hack and slashy kind of game. But it might be a one-on-one -on -one fighter. But yeah, I found it in CEX for like twenty quid or twenty-six quid. I thought, yeah, I'll pick that up. It's a bit of a different one. I'll give it a go. Uh, I'm not big into anime or anything, but some of the anime games I've played, I've played like the One Punch Man game on the Xbox One and strangely really enjoyed that. And I've enjoyed what I've played so far of Jump Force, which is probably blasphemy because everyone says that's a bad game, but it, it seemed fun. So I need to play a few more of these like anime games to give them a go. I probably should have just played the ones I got on the 360, but then again, they're some of the ones I don't have. I'm missing quite a few of the Naruto games, I think. Right. I didn't think I'd pick much up this coming up, but uh, never mind. Oh, this, this was a classic game. You know I need this. I want to stream this. It looks horrendous. It is My Life Pet Vet on <laughs> the PS4. Um, yeah. It looks like more of a proper simulator than the last Pet Vet game I picked up which was Animal Doctor. Um, I don't think this has broken trophies like that one but to be honest the graphics don't look too bad in it and I've watched a few trailers so it looks okay I guess. I don't know. I, I always pick up this crap. It was really cheap on eBay. I can't remember it was under a tenner I think. Then oh this one this is a weird one. Um, I've got to try to remember off the top of my head. I watched a trailer for this uh, ages ago, then saw it was coming out from Limited Run Games. So this finally showed up. It is Saturnalia, I think it's pronounced. So yeah, I needed it. It was part of the horror set, so I had to grab it. I, it's like a survival horror with like almost a, a, a paper aesthetic, I think. Like everything's kind of cell shaded and things pop up and they're flat but they're not i'm hoping that's the game that it is <laughs> but i'll have to double check i ordered this so long ago so i can't remember but it, it looked interesting when, when i ordered it um I'll, I'll put footage in so people know what it looks like but definitely it looked like an interesting one this next one i picked up because Retro Red Steve is doing his racing PS1 stuff. And I thought this is a bit of a bizarre PS1 racer. You don't see it very often. It was very cheap. It was like five pound or something. Um, I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's, is it Milli Miglia? Yeah, it's racing old school cars. I don't think this is ever going to show up in his challenges, but you never know. You could throw in a curveball. <laughs> 
But yeah, if I see a PS1 racer that I've never played or seen, I'll give it a go. I have read that apparently it's quite slow though. <laughs> That's all I know about it. Okay, these next two, I bought these because I plan on doing a bit of a video about a certain subset on the Switch, which I'm going to struggle to do without... I don't worry about demonetization or anything, because I'm not monetized, so don't worry about that. But I'm more worried about my video being pulled down if I do a video on these. Um, up first is... Perky Little Things. So yeah, um, it is a... I think Where's Wally style porn game. Yeah, <laughs> it does come with an art book, which I won't show off. I can't remember how much this was, about 30 quid. Um, I don't know. Well, it's not really a point and click. We'll, we'll call it a point and dick, shall we? <laughs> I think, yeah, I think it's more like a hidden object. Um, we got a hidden object game, there you go. We'll call it a hidden knob game. I only know one person who's played through it and they said it was quite fun but seedy. <laughs> so yeah, I will do something with this. Don't worry, I'll be playing it with two hands. Right, <laughs> and to go along with that, I picked up Waifu Uncovered, which is a, it's a shmup, um, but the more, it's got like a girl in the background and the more you progress in the level the more clothing disappears so again yes it's one of those adult naughty games there's a few of them released they're all done by funbox i think the ones which actually contain any nudity uh there's like the pretty girls collection which i have played on the ps4 but the ps4 one has all the nudity and all the all the raunchiness taken out so basically it's just a mahjong poker something else game or was it just mahjong and poker it might have been two poker games and a mahjong game i don't know they, they are like bottom of the barrel kind of games but with a seedy ass twist on them but yeah the final thing this is like gonna be my last big purchase for a while because I'm, I'm gonna be slowing down on the pickups um but yeah this is one i've been after for a very long time for the vita set it's one that shot up to insane money at one point and it's slowly come back down so i've been after it for a very long time and i didn't think i'd ever get it it's from the east asia uh soft like the play asia releases basically on there it's uh back in 1995 which is in this thing which is hard to see what is actually what it's like um it's a PS1 inspired survival horror so yeah you it looks like a PS1 game basically it looks like you'd gone back in time and found a horror game which you didn't know existed from F and I've heard it's not the best it's a bit slow a bit short a bit clunky but that sounds great to me it's horror <laughs> um I am worried it is, it is put out by Rattalika Games, which you can see down in the uh, corner down there. Which makes me think it's probably a very easy Platinum trophy. Uh, you probably don't even have to play through the whole game. But it's one I've always wanted to play it. Just always wanted to play it. It's I'm pretty sure it's pretty cheap digitally, but being a being a Vita collector, I needed it. And the all these, I wouldn't mind having the East Asia soft set, to be honest. I've got quite a lot of them. And they all come in this, these like big chunky boxes. So, and they're always in English, so, yeah, looking looking forward to that one. I didn't pay overly too much for it, for what it used to go to, go for, so we'll leave it at that. But yeah, that is the pickups video. I've wanted to put this together for a couple of days, and I just didn't have the time, and yeah, I wanted back in 1995 to, to turn up, that was all. So I'll try and put some footage over for each one of these again. Um, if there's anything there that you've never heard of, that's a positive. But then again, I've probably just bought a lot of shit. I don't know how I'm going to put footage over for the uh, the rude games. Yeah. We'll work that out. It'd be all good. I just might mug those ones off. <laughs> 
I felt like a pervert buying them. Anyway, I'm going to bugger off now. Have fun, people. <laughs>